No introduction, straight into it. This is about 200 cards that I received back from PSA. Look, kind of happy with some of them, kind of not happy with some of them. Let's just start off with the good ones. I think good news first is always good. But yeah, I mean, it's, I always like, there's a saying we have in Australia and it is, uh, shit happens. So let's just show the good ones and then we'll get into the bad ones, shall we? So we got this PSA 10 Pretend Gyarados Pikachu and it is awesome. Great card, very happy with this one. An unlimited Guard of our EX Title Storm. It looks absolutely breathtaking. You can see there. Great texture on that one. So this is a Houndoom EX. Pretty good this one. And then the Giovanni Scheme. Nice card here. I really enjoy this one. And you know, these are all great tens, very nice condition. Super happy. These cards here are going in my collection, so I'm very happy to have these. Maybe eventually, you know, they will be up for sale, but just for now, I'm happy to keep them for myself. I have the Pokecune, Pikachu, Sylveon, and Flareon. I do already have a few Flareons and Sylveons in my collection, but these cards are so nice with that full foil. I can't bring myself to sell them. And out of the 200 cards, this is probably the only highlight. We have these two as well. We have the Elena, which is a great looking full art, and we have the Guard of our GX. That is an 8, pretty much. Uh, it's got a bit of edgeware there. Oh, this camera's really good. Well, wow. it always surprises me how good it picks up everything. So let's just start down the totem pole. I have like 400 nines we can go through. Well, we got some tens on some... We got some tens on some old back cards. I don't know if you heard that, but what? my phone's got ah, notifications. How about we just turn that off real quick? So we don't get annoyed during the video. There we go. I should probably edit that out, but yeah, we got the Deli Bird all back, got the Clefable, and I was really surprised at just how cheap some of these old back hollows are, to the point where like I might not even grade old back cards anymore because they're too hard to grade and they're just not worth anything. Like the, this Wigglytuff, I think is like eighty US dollars in a ten. And you know how hard this is to get in like ten condition. So we got those five out of about. I think maybe like 30 that I sent. We'll have a look here. But yeah, I, I honestly don't think it's worth grading old back hollows, to be honest, because they're just, they don't sell for very much and they're really hard to get. We've got two Gyarados guard jump half decks. And I'm not sure what was too wrong with these. They looked pretty good to me, but maybe you never know. They always look like they have scratches on them, but that's just from the foiling there. So this is what it is. You got the Celebi Kamiya from Mythical League. Mythical Legend Dream Shine collection. I always the PSA labels always make me like forget what the sets are actually called. Because they just like butcher them. So we've got this flying Pikachu, Bond's End of Time, Gahili, Eevee Shiny Collection 9. This is when we get nine. You're about to get nine, ladies and gentlemen. Nine 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 out of your mind. Nine out of your mind. And I will say nine a million times over. So we got the Entei, another Entei, and then a Lugia. I really would have enjoyed getting a Lugia in a 10. I sent away four of them, but we'll have a look what was wrong. So I got another Lugia here, and I, I, I did go through these cards a generous amount. All these cards are listed and for sale currently, and I have, like, checked them over. And I just, I'm not too sure that... Looks like there's a print line right there, right above the M. You see that? You see that right there? Yeah. Looks like it's a print line. And it's pretty common on old back cards to have print lines on the back of cards and stuff. But I did not think, like, cards, like, these are really nice condition. You can see no edgeware, top, bottom, left, right. And just, you know, just to have a mild print line, I do think probably still should 10. But, you know, these Lugias, they're super, super clean. So if you're looking for a mint condition one of these, I actually have mint condition ones. I do think these are, theoretically, these, it's going to sound stupid, but I do think these Lugias are close to, if not, PSA 10 condition. So I'm super happy with those because, you know, I've just been doing this for a while and you kind of get like a little bit of a, a knack. You just know what they look like. But unfortunately, they all got nines. It may be a little bit of centering or something like that, but... They're super clean, and we got Smeagol. These old hollows do look really good. We got another Dark Charizard, another Blaine's Arcanine, Dark Ampharos. We get the normal Ampharos, Dark Porygon, and Blaine's Moltres, Dark Dragonite, 
Brock's Nine Tails, we just got nine. Brock's Nine Tails, nine. Giovanni's Persian, and another Ente Nine. So we got a lot of nines on the old back cards. Five tens. It looks to be around like 25 to 30 nines. That's just how it is. And I'm not, it's not a bad or a good ratio, but that's just kind of like just how it is ratio. So it's some more tens that we got here. Manaphy Mythical Legend Dream Shrine Collection. I think it's Mythical Legend. Man, correct me if I'm wrong. Someone will correct me. A lot of smart people out there that know a lot more than me, so please help me out. This card here is very surprising. Usually when I do the return videos, I, you know, just open the box just how it is and I look at them. But this time around, because I came back from Japan, I'm trying to kind of like catch up on my work. And I've listed a lot of these for sale before the return video. It's kind of like doing it backwards. It's made it a lot harder for me, but doing it backwards and that's why i know what a lot of these cards are selling for what are they worth more than usual because i've already like listed them for sale and this one here the lowest listing price was 600 us dollars on ebay you know i was really surprised by that i put mine up a little bit lower because i think i got this binder with all the pikachus pretty cheap so i'm not that doesn't really bother me if i sell a little bit lower but i did not expect that card to be that expensive this sky tree rayquaza is one of my favorite promos they made this one's great the the cracked ice foil and everything looks really good. We got the Spanish Pikachu and we got the German Pikachu with the Donner Blitz. Ah, oh, PSA 9. Reverse. Battle boost. Not ideal. Legendary Shine Collection. Reshi Ram 10. This one here as well. Like, I thought this would be like 300 to 400. <laughs> Pardon me. I got the hiccupies. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you get the hiccupies? Ugh. I gotta redo the whole video. Can't can't keep going like this. Uh, th this one here, I thought it'd be more expensive, but there's a great hollow pattern on that. You never really get to see it, but this camera picks it up really well. But this one's like 150, 100 to 150 US dollars for this Reshiram Legendary Shine Collection. And usually these older, you know, I guess this is black and white. These older black and white XY kind of promo set cards are worth a little bit more, but that one, I guess not. I got the Dead End AGX, nothing crazy, and then just the Celebi Booster Box promo. This one's super popular, so not too crazy in price, but super popular. And we got the ooh, Mega Blastoise EX, I love this one. It's got hair on it, but that's fine. Great looking PSA 10. And then we just graded a whole bunch of Pokecune cards. I mean, these holo patterns, look, they look awesome. I love the Chikorita being chased by Pikachu down the stairs. And Fletchinder helping, doing some... What is that? Helping with some ribbons there, I guess. Got Wally. You know, he's he's one of the greatest. You see Wally in the start of the game. What is that? Emerald Sapphire, I think. You see Wally. You help him catch Ralts, and then he fights you throughout the game. Pretty cool guy. You know, Gulpin, Kamiya Artwork, Snow Run, all these cards. Meow Stick, Dumbo. Is that Sui? Yeah, this is a great one. Great, great, great one. Alteria. We got Deancey. Swab Blue. And Flabebe. I always thought this Pokemon was called such a funny name. Flabebe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I say it like that. I don't know. But we looked at some good. Looked at some okay. Now we're going to look at the destruction. You're going to see Steve get destroyed live. And, you know, it's not always too bad to get about getting nines. And it's a little bit of a learning, a learning curve when you get some PSA nines. Especially when you're buying to sell and grading to sell. You just got to take them as they come. And if you do think the card is actually a PSA 10, you're always free to send it back. But this one here is kind of beat up on the top there. This one actually isn't destruction, to be honest. This one's a really good nine for me. So we'll put that in the list this for sale pile. So none of these are actually listed for sale. I think those are. Oh, there's so many cards everywhere. You guys have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. I need an assistant. I need like 20 assistants. Not even assistants. I need business partners to come down here, live at my house. We could all we could have like a gamer house, but like it's like selling Pokemon cards. That'd be pretty cool. But we got this. Uh, these ones usually get nines due to some surface or maybe a little bit of centering. Centering does look fine. These are not that easy to grade. The Kanazawa special box, but usually when I get my submissions, I break them up a little bit and I put all the nines in a pile. And then I just check them over once, like really fast. And if any of them look like, you know, they might upgrade into a 10 or something like that. I just put it into another pile that I check again. I kind of go through like two or three checks to double, double or triple check. 
if I should regrade the card and, you know, because, you know, some of the values on these is hundreds, 200, 300, 300, 400 difference between the 10. So I want to be on the receiving end of that because I want to buy more cards. So a lot of these will be getting, you know, kind of um, bang, 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 crackeroni and sent back. And I'm not really an advocate for it too much, but this has a bit of edge right at the top. You can see right at the top there. So this one here, it's perfectly nine for a nine, but what, what? Can't speak, apparently. That's perfectly nice for a nine to have. So I'm not going to risk sending that one back because, you know, it has edgeware. This Sylveon GX, it's rough. This one is one of my favorite cards from Sun and Moon. From Sun and Moon, I guess, Strength Expansion Pack. It's like Sun and Moon Base plus one. It's a little bit off-centered. You can see on the top there, barely any, barely any card. And I would really like to get this in a 10, but I don't think this is going to make it as it's a little bit too thick left to right and bottom to top. So I'm going to put this aside and put this in my, uh, put it in the collection box. And this one is another great card. Wow, I forgot this one was in the stack. This one was crazy. So I bought this one for about $1,000, I think $1,000 for this Lily. And to give context, this Lily card in like PSA 9 condition is probably around the $10,000 mark at the moment. You know, it went like crazy. It was like 20 or 30, but they're coming back down to earth and it does look great. But this one is sun faded. So I, did, I was happy paying $1,000 for it. And there's so many, you know, so many fingerprints on it. But yeah, it's it's not, it's not incredibly gem or anything like that. It's not like some crazy condition card. It does have a little bit of edge wear at the bottom. Centering is not perfect, and it obviously is sun faded. So a nine for this is like amazing. I'm super happy to get this in a nine, and that is going in my collection for sure. I already have one. I already have a gem mint copy, but it's fine to have that one as well. This is a guard about. This is just a ten. I don't. It's not, it's not supposed to be in this pile, and it looks like it's damaged on the top. Actually, you can see here. There's like a fingerprint. Wow. It's like fully lipped on the side and there's like a fingerprint indent on the top right. Wait, this is a 10? Oh! Do you guys... I don't know if you guys remember. Do you guys remember? I had a mail day. So I went to take a picture because I bought a guard of our collection, right? You can see there's some here. There's two. There might even be some more in these stacks somewhere. And it'll be... You'll see them later on. Oh yeah, there's one here as well. So I bought a guard of our collection and I was taking a photo of it and my light like fell and hit the card. So I had to have a light. It's like a big white one and it's on a stand, but I was bending it over way too much. And then gravity obviously did its thing and then made it hit the card. And you can see this. Where is it? Oh my God. It's going to be so hard. This is kind of funny. All right. You see this right here? This is a dent from the light hitting onto the card. So not only does this card have a dent up here, it also has a dent from my light hitting the front and we still managed to score the PSA 10. <sighs> and this obviously, this one won't be for sale. You know, I'm just going to put this in my collection box. I'll decide what to do it and try to be as transparent as I possibly can when I do eventually sell it. If I do eventually sell it, but yeah, that is a, that's why a lot of these nines and stuff, I do go through a little bit more. Like, um, I go through them quite a lot because there's always a little bit of an oversight and not every nine's the same, etc. But, you know, this... Wow, there's a lot of damage on this one here, this Charizard EX. Some drawing marks there with some edge wear. Did they, like, draw on a bunch of my cards? There was something wrong with this submission. And when I find the cards, when I get to them, I'll explain it. I'll make another video on it as well, but... They did damage two cards in this submission and it looks like the top right of that guard of our, and then this one here, just like a lot of like drawing marks, like they just drew on them. So yeah, that's, uh, this Charizard will not be getting, will not be getting, uh, what's the word? What am I looking for? Will not be getting cracked and resubmitted because it is obviously like dented from the pen mark or whatever, but I don't know what that is. I might have to send a bit of an email to PSA. So, I'm trying to look. I think this card, the corner is like lipped. It's a PSA 8. I'm it's, I'm trying. But I went through this card for about 20 minutes trying to find what's wrong with it, what's wrong with it, what's wrong with it. And I honestly couldn't. And I think 
because the card's like a full poncho, maybe it like got affected by humidity or something. Maybe the light can help us out here. You can kind of see the light doesn't go all the way across. The card's kind of like wavy. Do you see how it like doesn't go all the way across when I shine? So I think it's a little bit bent and that's why I got a PSA 8. But other than that, I'd have to like, I will most likely regrade it, but that's probably why. And I got two PSA 9s on the shiny requires. So that's destruction. Destruction into my heart. And then we got the Lily Cosmog box. We got an 8. You know, I, I, I like no edgeware, so it has to just be like a centering thing. And then we got a 9. So maybe we keep the 9 and we send back the 8. Because uh, these cards are really clean. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We deal with it. We get we get better. Oh, my hair's looking good on the camera now. Pretty happy with that. We'll be, ooh, 16 minutes in, I can start talking about random stuff. And hopefully people watch. So we've got the Lily, Espeon V. So all these cards I most likely will be like cracking and going through. I can't, we're spending too long going through every single thing. But I've got the Primal Groudon and the Latios EX Thunder Knuckle. These are just great looking cards. We've got the Karen's Conviction, Peerless Fighters, and then one more lot of cards on this chopping block, I guess, is I don't know what happened. But, so I opened, I opened a bunch of these decks that these cards come in. You know, these Jolteon EX, Flareon EX, and Vaporeon EX starter decks. And I opened 12 of them. I bought four sets of the decks. Sorry, I got the hiccups. That's so bad. I know you can't see it all right now, but I'm just finding them. I bought four sets of the decks. And in one submission... I got five PSA 10s on the EX cards and six PSA 10s on the non holos. So I was five out of six for these and I was six out of six for the non holo cards. In this submission, I got no PSA 10s on the non holos. I got nine, 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 eight, nine. So five nines, one eight. And on the EX cards, every single one of them got eight. And they all came out of sealed boxes, same batches like the other ones I sent. And this is a prime example of when I say like it's completely fine to go through your cards and check what's good enough for resubmitting. As I definitely will be resubmitting all of these. And it does suck to lose. What is this? 12, 12, 12 grades. 12 grade worthy levels monies. I don't really know what I meant by that, but you know, this is just, these cards are immaculate. Christine, they're all 10s in my opinion. I will send them back and they will probably get 10s and then I'll gloat on camera. But yeah, just, just when I was saying, nothing wrong with being like a card submitter and going through your cards after you get them back because you just get a lot of 9s sometimes. So these are some more 9s that I got. You know, some Karens, Elisa Sparkle, Mega Hound Doom. Some more cards from the Gardevoir collection that I had. Two more 9s. I'll be going through all these. These ones are for sale, but I just kind of show you like the, the behind the scenes that I do get bad grades as well. I do have unfortunate things happen. They damage some of my cards. And these things do happen to me. I'm not really too vocal about like cracking cards or resubmitting them because a lot of people just think every card they grade is just a 10 and it's just PSA against them and all this other stuff. But I'm not really like that. I kind of try to like look at it. And this is a nice example as well. PSA 9 on the Psyduck. Pretty clean all round, a tiny bit of edgeware there, but you know, I just as <laughs> I don't think that's enough to really fight it back. He looks cute, he's on the swing. Let's see if I can find these PSA sevens. Whereabouts are you? Oh, here we go. Now, I'm pretty sure it was these two. So, this one was graded a PSA nine, and this one was graded a PSA 10. And PSA emailed me saying, Hey, your cards were damaged in encapsulation, whatever, whatever. They have now these grades. Do you want a refund or do you want other things or all this other stuff? And I accepted that refund and I can't remember what it was because it happened like two months ago now because it take took like an extra month to like do the refund processing part. And that's the worst part about it. Like they damage your cards and then the submission gets delayed by like two months. But you can see here they damaged it in encapsulation and you know, they actually were honest about it, which is good to see. Right there, it's just clinched on the side there. And this one here probably has the same thing. 
Where's this? Yeah, this one's really bad. You can see it has a dent just on the border there. That was nowhere near getting encapsulated. So these two, they damaged them in encapsulation. They did tell me. They said, hey, Steve, we damaged them. The refunds were not that much. This one was like $30. So they refund the grading cost, which is like $30. They give back, so they don't charge me for grading. And then the refund with this one, because they give you the difference between a PSA 7 and the original grade. The original grade was a 10. So they gave me a 10 on this one and a 9 on this one. And the difference was like $30 for this 7 to 10. So they refunded me 15 plus 30. And the difference between this one 7 to 9 was like $40. So they gave me, I guess, like a $40 refund. So all up, it was like $100 something just for like these two to get like damaged and then refunded to me. It is what it is. I mean... Nothing you can do about it. I don't really... I'm, I'm I'm just happy it wasn't one of the cards I want to keep in my collection or something like that. It was just two random cards from the Red Flash set, but... When this happens, you want to double check a lot of the cards you get in this mission. Maybe it happened to other ones and maybe it, they didn't, like, let you know or tell you. So you can try and keep up to date on your cards, but... Oh, my thumbprints are everywhere. It's really sweaty in my office at the moment. But yeah, that's just what happens when uh, PSA damages your card. I'll do another video on it. Just like a PSA damaged my cards, here's what happened. And I won't try to make it like, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining or whatever. I'm just going to give like an objective view of what actually happened, the timeline, and all this other stuff. So that's pretty much it for the return. There's a bunch of other cards here, like PSA 8s and, oh, PSA Lost Link Gengar, Pikachu Classroom Prize, some old back cards, and just some other stuff. All this stuff is available, you know, to buy on my site and everything in between. Some PSA 9s and some good stuff here. Wow, I'm really happy. Ooh, shiny collection Voltor PSA 9. But yeah, I get caught up too much in these videos just talking. Talking, talking, talking. It takes too long to go through cards and then I, I flail around and now we're 20 minutes in. And I'm talking about my damaged cards. But I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Kind of missed the whole daily video grind when I was away in Japan. So we will get back into it. I will become stronger. My hair will grow back. And we'll, we'll get better together. So I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.